Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, when we reflect about prosperity, wealth, when we reflect about do not steal, the commandment on the do not steal, we also need to reflect about almsgiving. Because prosperity and almsgiving goes together. Without almsgiving, there is no prosperity. And without almsgiving, if there is prosperity, that is not true prosperity. That is not coming from God. Because if God gives you prosperity, you will have the attitude of ready to give. And almsgiving is something which God wants us, every one of us, do it. Especially during this Lenten season, we need to do this almsgiving and prayer and fasting. Let us read this word of God, Sirach chapter 29 verse 12. Sirach chapter 29 verse 12, we read like this. Sirach chapter 29 verse 12. Store up almsgiving in your treasury. Store up almsgiving in your treasury. And it will rescue you and from it, every disaster. And it will rescue you from every disaster. So almsgiving is normally understood as giving away. But according to Bible, almsgiving means you are storing up wealth and in the treasury. Normally according to the world, almsgiving or charity means you are giving away your wealth. But in front of God, almsgiving means you are storing up wealth in the heavenly treasury. And it says, when you are really in disaster, tragedy, in crisis, this almsgiving which you have done in the past will come to help you. This almsgiving that you have done in the past will come and rescue you from the disaster. Therefore, we need to store up wealth in heaven by giving almsgiving. And it will bless us, it will protect us when we are really in need of a financial blessing. Praise the Lord. Let's read this Sirach chapter 35 verse 2 to 4. Sirach chapter 35 verse 2 to 4. We read like this. One who heeds the commandments. One who heeds the commandments. Makes an offering of well-being. Makes an offering of well-being. Verse 3. The one who returns a kindness offers choice flower the one who returns a kindness offers choice flower and one who gives alms and the one who gives alms sacrifices a thank offering sacrifices a thank offering so there are different sacrifices in jerusalem temple one of those most important sacrifices is called thanksgiving offering thanksgiving offering or sacrifice of thanksgiving and bible says almsgiving is a sacrifice of thanksgiving Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. James chapter 2, verse 14. James chapter 2, verse 14, we read like this. James chapter 2, verse 14, we read like this. The word of God says, What good is it? What good is it? My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. If you say. If you say. You have faith. You have faith. But do not have works. But do not have works. Can faith save you? Can faith save you? Bible says if you say you have faith. But do not have works. Many people believe in Jesus and follow Jesus. But never give almsgiving. Never help others who are in need of. Then there is no work. Therefore, a faith without work is useless. And therefore, we need to do the result of faith. We should have the effect of faith. And effect of faith is the actions, compassion, mercy, almsgiving, all these. So this effect should be there. Let's read this word of God, Matthew chapter 5 verse 7. Matthew chapter 5 verse 7, we read like this. Blessed are the merciful. Blessed are the merciful. For they will receive mercy. For they will receive mercy. If you are merciful, you will receive mercy. Let's read Luke chapter 6 verse 20, 36. Luke chapter 6 verse 36. We read like this. Luke chapter 6 verse 36. Be merciful. Be merciful. Just as your father is merciful. Just as your father is merciful. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. Matthew chapter 25 verse 40. We read. 
and the king will answer them and the king will answer them truly i tell you truly i tell you just as you did it to one of the least of these just as you did it to one of the least who are members of my family who are members of my family you did it to me you did it to me when you help the brothers and sisters we are helping jesus himself therefore alms giving is one of the methods to grow not only spiritually but also even financially because financial blessings will come when you, only when you are ready to give and share praise the lord praise the lord james chapter 4 verse 17 we read like this james chapter 4 verse 17 we read like this james chapter 4 verse 7 anyone anyone then then who knows the right thing to do who knows the right thing to do and fails to do it and fails to do it commit sin commit sin we all know we need to share we need to love others we need to give help others we need to give alms giving but still we don't do therefore every time when we reject this desire to do good we are committing sin praise the lord praise the lord let's examine our conscience and see do we have these kinds of sins if so we need to come confess our sins and prepare ourselves for a very good confession during this lenten season and be holy and purify and promise to jesus and do something for alms giving and helping others and uh, supporting others especially those who are in need and poor